Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to another episode of Sean Sports Cards. Today we are opening up the complete set um, of 2020-21 Optic Basketball Target Exclusive. One complete set printed on exclusive card stock. And you also get a bonus pack exclusive, which hold the heat. The Purple, purple Pulsar Rated Rookies. You get five. There's 50 rated rookies all together that you get in here. So you got a five out of 50 chance, basically, to um, pull a Lamello or an Ant-Man. Probability is probably actually a little bit less than that, <laughs> if we're being honest from the videos that I've seen. Also, one thing we have to worry about is um, centering. It's actually the main thing you got to worry about with this. Because pretty much if you get one, the first off, the first card you pull out, pretty much how most of the box is going to look from the videos that I've seen so far. And uh, except for the purple pack, it seems like the purple Pulsar pack actually comes pretty centered no matter what. So far from what I've seen. Um, So yeah, you're getting them, everybody from this year, 50 rated rookies, you're getting a LeBron, you're getting a Luka. I purchased this thing for like, it was like $159 on Target, and I actually got it the day after it released, because like I've stopped messing with Target, trying to hit the uh, car stops because of bots and all that, but uh, like I was scrolling, and I saw that like on my uh, news feed on Facebook or, or something like that, and I clicked on it, and it took me to Target, to the link, and uh, it said in stock, I was like, what? I was like, that's crazy, because I know they stopped yesterday, because there's some Facebook groups that um, I follow, and uh, some YouTube channels that I follow that actually cover, you know, the target stocks. I just stopped really worrying about it. But, um, yeah, I was like, for a few days, I was kind of like sketched out. I was like, I don't even think I'm going to get this. They're going to return my money. But a little bit over a week later, boom, here she is. So hopefully we get a good box. Hopefully it's centered, but if it's not, oh, well. We was able to finally get something off target online. And actually, it was red card exclusive, so that 159 actually went to like 152 and some chains that I had to uh, pay for this. So it's really not bad when you break down the Lamelo for like what 60 bucks, Ant Man probably 30 or 40. That's 100 just from them two cards alone. I'm probably not gonna sell my set, but if I do pull a Lamelo purple, I might sell it just to recoup what I pay for the box and some because I know they sell close to 200, maybe a little bit over. I know the price will go down; it'll fluctuate. You know, the more boxes that open or whatever. But as of now, you know, that would be a pretty good uh, profit margin um, from the 152 that you paid for the box compared to what you can get just from the Lamello Purple. I think even the Ant-Man Purple is going close to 100. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, hopefully we pull something great. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Really nervous. This is the most I've ever spent on a retail box, but it was kind of like a no-brainer because it's a Target exclusive, it's a complete set, you're going to get an Ant-Man, you're going to get a Lamello, you're going to get a Cole Anthony, you're going to get a Halliburton, you're going to get a Wiseman, so, you know, why not? And then you got the, like I said, the five purple Pulsars, you have a possibility of pulling one of the top rookies as well, and those are running a premium. All right, so here we are, our box. And right on top is our rated rookie pack. But we're gonna go ahead and get into the set, see how quality is on them. You know, hopefully uh, everything looks good. We'll take out this little padding on the side so we can actually pull some cards out. And I see the rated rookies on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and pull them out. I'm not really going to go through the rated rookies right now. Sorry about this. Trying to get these out without damaging any cards.
All right, so we will start with some of the vets. Pull some of these out. Put this padding back in so they don't move as much. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> And uh, as I was getting the cards out, I was very pleased because what did I say? You see one card centering, that's how they're pretty much all going to be. Boom. What's that, ladies and gents? Centered. Centered. You really do got to worry about print lines on these, though. Anytime you're dealing with pulsars, cracked ice, things of that nature. And we're going to pull out, um, obviously, the people we PC. Because these pulsars, man, they really do. Everybody like, not everybody, because I know there are a lot of people that like the pulsars more. But, you know, I guess everybody likes things different, but... Man, see, pulsars are usually like numbered and they're like hard to get because they're just so nice. Like when you hit a pulsar, you're like, this has got to be a case hit, <laughs> you know, usually. But uh, I'm really a fan of the pulsar. It's really got a lot of bling to it. I like it better than the Silver Wave at Fanatic Exclusive. But, you know, I like the Silver Wave as well. But I obviously like this more because I actually got a box of this. I'm still kind of salty. Fanatics, you know, taking the rights from Panini and Tops, and Just turning the card market upside down. <laughs> so that's probably also got, a, you know, some input. Why I feel like I feel. But yeah, quality control on this box. Well, that's like 60-40. So we're pretty much 60-40 on this box, which, you know what, is a win. If you see if you see many of these box openings, man, I've felt bad for so many people. Like seriously. And another thing that I like about my box, it's not sticking. I've been seeing um, a lot of people having sticking issues. Well, there's a second year jaw. We'll put that guy to the side. Sleeve him up after the video. Okay, that's a Jalen Brown. Kawhi. Who it came out recently that he's not going to play at all this year. As soon as I said something about sticking, we got some sticking issues. Not not anything major though, Tobias Harris. Jokic. Oh wait, no it wasn't. <laughs> KD. Not really pulling KDs out. I don't, not really a fan. Even though you know he's that guy, right? Like, <laughs> we all know he is. I just don't like him, man. You either, I feel like, if you're my generation, maybe a little bit younger, it's either you like KD or you like LeBron. And I like LeBron. I'm just really going through the base, the regular cards, just to get out the stars. And then we could put these back in the box after the video. Ooh, 
You know, I didn't check to see if these are in order. They're not in order, so I will have to go back and actually put these in order. I should have known they wouldn't have been. I mean, who's going to... Zion? That's... Oh, God. That is horrible centering on the Zion. Come on, man. Like, you gave me... Yeah, the centering has gotten worse. So, I guess centering does change in some boxes. Maybe I caught a box at the end. Or LeBron way off center. So, that's not good. A rated rookies aren't that bad. So, that's the main thing I'm worried about. You know, rated rookies, but still, you know, I wanted a, a, a good looking Zion and LeBron, but I guess you take what you can get, right? Ooh, yeah, the centering is. I definitely, I think I caught one on the end of the sheet because it's like half my box. Most of the vets are bad, you know, and my, my rookies are pretty good. So, you know, I'll take it. If I had to choose one, I'll take it. I'll take the 60-40 on the, on the rookies any day. Yeah, the centering is not getting any better. Yeah, so pretty much all of our vets are all center. But we'll take it. Still happy to have the set. Hopefully we got a banger in the in the purple pack. Cause that's really why we open these, you know? It's like we just keep it all in the box if there's not a bonus pack. And just hold it, you know. Plus, I do like having sets. Like I do. I only have a couple. And they're not full. This will be like my first full set. Well, besides the, the purples, of course, you know. Hero, AD, D Lo, who for a moment was going to go to my Lakers, but Luca, 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 we'll put that to the side. Oh, Trey, Trey. I am a Atlanta Hawk fan, but, you know, it's like the Falcons. I mean, they're better than the Falcons. I just don't. I watch them. I hope they win, but I'm not going crazy anymore. I'm not losing sleep. You know, I'm just waiting for them to get better. They have came a long way. I'm really excited about the, the new quarter that they have. It's exciting to watch. They just blew out somebody last night. It was, it was pretty cool. All right, let's go through these rookies. Then we'll hit our pack. Got old Halliburton to start us off. Centering not that bad. Kenny Martin Jr., 
Zeke, Vernon, Norwa. Really strong, if you ask me, really strong rookie class. I think it could even go up against last year's. And, you know, I was really doubting it for a little minute. Like, I can't even front. I was doubting it. I mean, I've been watching LaMelo since he was, you know, a little kid like everybody else. But, it was a Cole Anthony. Put that to the side. Oh, Trey, Trey. Kira Lewis. Cassius Winston. And your boy, Obi. Obi Wan Kenobi. Put him to the side. Still haven't hit the big rookies. Hoping they look great. Jay McDaniels. And there's our LaMelo. Hold on, hold on. A little off center. 60-40. But we will take that. Let me sleeve him up real quick. Boom. You probably hear my, hear my kid in there. He just takes the game too seriously. Take that. Put that guy to the side. Now let's look for Ant Man. Tyler Bay. Maxi will put him to the side. Saban Lee. Isaiah Stewart. And there he is, Ant-Man. Ants do kill. Sleeve this guy on up. Oh yeah. I know I'm acting like they don't come in every box, but I'm just glad that the centering isn't like the vets. Killian Hayes. That guy, I will sleeve him up. I'm not going to act like I know his name, bro. Just not. <laughs> like they keep telling me and I just keep butchering it. Mr. Quickly. Xavier Tillman. Jalen Smith. To end it all. Whew. So I'm thinking we have what, 10, 15% chance of pulling an Ant-Man or Lamello. Chance is very slim, but um, I have to say, 
this probably won't happen with this pack, but I am pretty pretty good at pulling Lamellos. First box of optic I pulled um open was a mega box and I pulled a silver. So not too shabby, right? <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Moment of truth. Remember, you get five cards in here. All rated rookie, purple, pur pulsars. Isaiah Stewart to start it off. Nico Mannion. Dan Vassal. Xavier Tillman. It's a really trash purple pack. <laughs> but hey, we did get the... We did get these two guys and all the other rated rookies. So it is what it is. It was just nice being able to have a chance of pulling one. And um, besides, you know... The centering on the on the vets, really strong uh, product. Really like the pulsar look. And um, tell me what y'all think in the comment section. And uh, until next time, I'm out.